Welcome to the mashed potato zone, also known as RES. S, S in Sweden. And what? Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. With a twist. Yes, but that doesn't make this mashed potatoes on it's the kitchen table. It was the kitchen table. I don't know what is she talking about. No. <laughs> but what are we doing today? Mm, having dinner at the recording studio. <laughs> Also known as the kitchen table. Yeah, kinda. Can you? She just got home from work and I have been preparing and we are just about to have mashed potatoes for dinner. Supper, whatever. Yeah. Also a taste test. <laughs> In the making. Well, we do have the homemade one. Mm. That he made. Yeah, but we have the same recipe when they do it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little more chunky, my kind of version, but I, I am grown up with that more kind of stuff. Well, you should feel that it, it that it is potatoes in it. Yeah. I mean, if you want it smooth, you can add more milk and um, uh, butter. But you will have the recipe in the end of this uh, episode. Yeah, and I think also in the description, maybe. We will see. Yeah. It's potatoes, it's butter, it's um, spices. spices, it's milk. How hard can it be to make mashed potatoes? No offense. <laughs> no offense to anyone. But I don't feel it very hard. It, it takes about a half an hour. You need the potato to boil. Well, 20 minutes depending on the potatoes and how many of them size. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we have we have four kind, four different kinds of mashed potatoes here. Yeah. Including the homemade, the, the one you show. Yeah. Well, some people are lazy. They don't do the real one with the real potatoes. No, and then we have something that they call instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, which is uh, potato powder. With a lot of uh, other ingredients. But it's six protein, pro protein potatoes and then it's milk. If you boil some water. You take it off the stove, you put in some cold water, then you take a bag and you whisk it in quicker. And I must say, that this is one of the cheapier brands here in Sweden. This is not um, one of the Felix, the famous brands. Yeah, no, this is uh, unknown. And this is from the store where I work. Yeah. But it's cheap. cheap. I mean, I can throw it at the camera. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say it smells bad. No, it smells it, buttery and milky. I mean, yeah, I, I, I was about to say buttery. Yeah, but there's milk in it. Yeah. The last one on the testing will have a little twist on it. But. Of course, there are no more spices added to this one than what's in the bag. Yes, yeah, same goes with the other two that are pre bought. Yeah. I mean, in a. You need something quick? Sure. I mean. But it's not bad, bad. But I can even though I know it's instant potato. Yeah, you can f you can feel that it's uh, from a mm. bag. It's a familiar taste. Like the school lunch. Yeah. Because that's exactly what it feels like. But my school have lumps in the pota mashed potatoes. Yes, mine did too, and they took some real potatoes and smashed them in with. I'm still eating it. I think I can eat this. No, no, no. And we, we're gonna eat it up. I mean, there are three more bags. Yeah. And it is. If the crisis come, it's an easily thing to have home. Yeah. I mean, it's easily to have your little primus kitchen and just heat the water and fix it that way. It lasts forever, though. 
Uh, almost until uh, one and a half year, more. Forever. Mm. We're probably going to have at least one of those at home, I think. Yeah. And here we have the other thing where this is, I don't know if they call it instant mashed potatoes, it's have a... Well... It could be a brand name too. Yeah. Well, let's see you're on the road. Maybe a truck driver. Yeah. And you, you want some homemade food on the road. Well, I think most people, yeah, <laughs> homemade. But most people, they, they go for mashed potatoes. A sausage and some lingonberry jam. Yeah. Or ketchup or mustard, whatever you want. Yeah, but usually it's lingonberry. Yeah. And this is the more instant mash color that I remember, except that one. But that's pretty good. Yeah, this one has a little bit more. Mm. Dots. I mean, they make it like a round, round of cube. A round cube. Mm. I mean, it has a completely different smell to it than that. Yeah, it smells more spicy. Mm. And it's more more kind of texture to our own. Oh! And you lost it. <laughs> and of course this is with nothing on. Usually I get some mustard or ketchup or lingonberry jam. Yeah. Well, except for being a little bit cold, it wasn't bad. No, it's a, it's more spicy than that one. Yeah. But in 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 the taste alone, I love that better because you have the little buttery texture. Well, I'm not really convinced yet, but I think the consistency of that one was. Yeah, the consistency. A little bit more. That's homemade. more more like a homemade. That is. You can, you can see the spices in it. Yeah. I mean, there is pepper, pepper, and why not? Hmm. Homemade? Yeah. I expect this to be better than those two, at least. Mm. I mean, spices is uh, some. Uh, some. Uh, black pepper, uh, white pepper, that's the trick, and uh, pithy alacrida, that's a uh, spice we use here in yeah. Sweden. Sometimes I have a little pepper into it, I don't know why. And there's a secret ingredients too. Mm, we see it, yeah. And of course, if you don't want that ingredient, you can just take it away. And of course, there's a recipe I haven't tweaked something at all, barely at all since I started making it. I think I want to tweak it a little bit, maybe add some more, make it more smoother. Yeah, maybe. make. Just try it once at least. But it has, it has spices. It has the garlic. It has, uh... Well, it, it's what we're used to. I can't say more than that. No, I mean, it beats the other two. Even though I can eat these. Well, if it's a crisis, yeah, that that yeah. could go down. Definitely. Or if you are really in a hurry and you need food, quick. Yeah, if you don't have the time to go to um, the kiosk or anything else that has yeah. that. And then of course the last mashed potatoes we usually have, we have a lot of home. Yeah. You may have seen it in the episode where we empty our the cupboard. pantry. Yeah, pantry. And it is the snack pot. Yeah. With some bacon and onions. Yeah. And some other small spices. Yeah. I mean, you just boil water, you pour it in up to the little marker. Yeah. You mix, mix, mix. You have to mix this really careful. Mix, 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 mix. And then you let it sit for about five minutes. Yeah. I usually let it sit for uh, seven or eight because I think it's better. And, well... This smells a lot more than anything else. Yeah. But this has more stuff to it than just the regular mashed potatoes. Yeah. 
Like I said, bacon and onion and other ingredients. Yeah, I think they could be. It has to be parsley. It looks like that. But I'm not too sure. Okay, let's look at the thing here. So, chives and parsley. Yeah. So, I was right. Mm. It's hot because we put it on before we start recording. And that one has a really good salty. Yeah, this is more salty, but yeah, I think this is for the bacon and. Yeah, but th th this you can have as a full meal. I wouldn't have the others just like they are. No, the th this one is you know, mean the bacon and the, the saltiness and the other spices. I mean. It's good at good at its own, but everyone else you want, you know, you want ketchup, you want lingonberry jam, you want a sausage, you maybe want some um, meatballs, meatballs, Swedish meatballs, or maybe follicle. That's a bigger sausage. <laughs> you can also also have um, um, well, I've actually had some. Uh, Meat sauce with uh, mashed potatoes. I was just about to say it, meat sauce. I was thinking about the name. Yeah. And um, my friends had it when I was young, and they called it. Uh, we say it in Swedish, and not we not translated. Uppenbarligen tweetus. <laughs> if you want a translation on that, you can comment down below, and I may give it out. And you might, and you can also Google it. Upp och ner event tweetus. Hmm. And you can never eat that again. Still good though. <laughs> I also have some, um, um, we have these um, bigger herrings, I, think I mean the fish, I mean you bread them, I mean, fillet, you fillet them and you bread them and then you have them with mashed potatoes and lingonberry yeah. We had it once. Oh, Strumming. yeah. Strömmings fillet. That's pretty good too. But isn't that cod? No, 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 there's no, there's a non fish. It's coming. I can't really. Need. When in doubt, go to the dictionary. And we will not stop eating. This is this is like we said dinner. Yeah. But I think if that would have, would have been a little bit more warm. Uh, as I was right when I say herring, it's a Baltic herring. So I guess it's time to quit now and continue with the dinner. Yeah, and we'll have a fika afterwards. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that. An hour or two. <laughs> because when you eat mashed potatoes, like say if you, you if, if you boil potatoes you maybe eat one, one if you eat two and you have mashed potatoes you maybe eat four. You get tricked that way. Yeah, you will get full pretty quickly. Yeah. But it, it's still good. Yeah, but stay tuned. The recipe of our own will come here in a little video and um, text form. And I know someone has been waiting for this episode since we started this YouTube channel. So here you go, Diba. Enjoy that. And uh, I know the, I. No, you don't like one of the ingredients, but you don't have it. Have to have it in, of course. <laughs> and you can add more milk or more butter if you like. And for all the rest, if you haven't tried anything, uh, try mashed potatoes before. It's easy. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for supper. Then a then a fika. Yeah. Bye. Bye.